Hello everyone, welcome back. So uh, today in this video we are going to discuss about manual testing. So in the previous videos I have already discussed about the HDLC STLC life cycles model. Now totally that is the now totally today we are going to discuss about different things that is manual testing. So basically as a tester first we have to do the manual testing. That's why the manual testing the needs for the manual test is very much important for all of us. Let's start. First, we have to know that what is manual testing. So manual testing means we can say that the testing will be done by manually. What does it mean? Means without using any automated tool, when a tester executes their test cases manually, that is called as a manual testing okay so manual testing is a type of software testing in which test cases are executed manually by a tester without using any automated tool right so whenever a tester uh, er, is doing some manual testing will never use any automated tool without using any automated tool when a tester execute their test cases by manually then that type of testing is called as manual testing right so now what is the purpose of that manual testing the main purpose of the manual testing is to identify the bugs issues and defects in any software application right so manual testing help us to find critical bug in the software application right so Manual software, manual software testing requires more effort but is necessary to check automation feasibility. Now manual testing concept does not require knowledge of any testing tool. One of the software testing fundamental is 100% automation is not possible. Right? So whenever we are, um, whenever, whenever we are uh, trying to uh, uh, testing any functionality, then 100% automation is not possible for that. So in that case, manual testing is the only one solution that we can do and we can easily identify the bug issues and defects. Okay. So manual testing help us to find critical bugs any software application. So we can give one note that any new application must be manually tested before it testing can be automated. First of all, as a tester, we have to go for the manual testing because automation testing, as we already know that automation testing is not 100% possible for any application. So that's why a, any new application must be manually tested before its testing can be done by automation. Okay. Now we have clear idea that what is manual testing and what is the purpose of manual testing. Now. What is the goal of manual testing? The goal of manual testing is to ensure that the application is error free and it is working in conformance to the specified functional requirement. So, first point, I can give you a very easy example. Let's say, I'm giving you an example. Now, suppose this is one application which is given by the client. And in this application, let's say one is the username field, one is the password field, and let's say one is the login button. What is that? That is the, let's say this is the username and this is the, let's say PWD password and suppose this is the login button. Now. What will be done in the manual testing? What is the goal of the manual testing? Suppose client has given this requirement that that we have to make a software which has the login page requires username, password and login button. So whenever any user give the correct username, correct password and then click on login button, page will redirect to any uh, home page or sign up page like that. Okay, so that is the functionality which is given by the client. Now. What is the goal of the software testing, manual testing? I told you that 
that is ensure that the application is error free and it is working as per the functional requirements means this is the requirement given by the client now the company's developer they will develop that particular application the particular functionality now means when we are testing where we are manually testing so we have to check that what is the client requirement and the developer how the developer developed so is the two are equal means is the expected result is equal to actual result what is the expected result means client's requirement or functional requirement what is the actual result after testing what we are getting where wh what is the output that is called actual result so in the manual testing we have to make sure that the functional requirement and our developed our developer developed software that is working as per right so actual results is equals to expected results is or not right so now the key concept of manual testing is to ensure that the application is error free obviously we have to make an application which will be the error free okay and it is working in conformance to the specified functional requirements the second point the test suites or case are designed during the testing phase and should be 100% test coverage now what is called by 100% test coverage 100% test coverage means where both positive test cases and negative test cases both are present okay so i have suppose i have written 100 of test cases 100 test cases okay so in the 100 test cases let's say 60 are positive test cases 40% are negative test cases that means we are 100% test coverage done 100 test coverage means the test cases which contains both positive and negative test cases that is called 100% test coverage so the test cases or the test suites are designed during the testing phase and should have 100% test case coverage okay now third manual testing also makes sure that reported defects are fixed by the developer and retesting has been performed by the tester on the fixed defects means suppose this is the application and this is the application and we are testing that application let's say when a, when it when we are checking that application when we are clicking on the login button login button uh, after going to after redirecting to the sign up page or home page instead of that we are getting an 404 error page or any black skin any blank page okay that means there is an issue so if we get the issue then obviously we have to revert back to the developer or fix the defect whenever the developer will fix the defect the tester will again retest that application that whatever issues we have given to the developer that issue is working perfectly fine or not right so so when we are reported any defects that are fixed by the developer and retesting has been performed by tester on the fixed defects so now what is retesting retesting means suppose we are testing any application and we have found any bug let's say we are testing any functionality and found any bug then we have connected with the developer and we have given that bug to the developer developer had had some fixes and and after fix developer uh, developer uh, back developer has given the same application to the tester for the testing purpose so when when we are again testing the same functionality okay on the same bug that is nothing but called as a retesting so don't worry there will be my another another separate video for the retesting purpose i will very i will give you the very brief idea about that any very details idea about the retesting okay no problem at all now let's back to the goal of manual testing so basically the testing checks the quality of systems and delivers bug free product to the customer what is the main goal of the manual testing why, why we are go for any testing 
because the the product quality should be perfect so without any better quality without any good quality we cannot take anything suppose i am going to the i i i'm i'm going to the market and i have i have uh, uh, borrow one uh, suppose cake so if the cake quality is not good i will never borrow that right the same thing is that here i am the customer and the cake company is the developer or any company okay any company that means i want as a customer i want the high quality product if the company has given the same high quality product to me then i will go for borrow right same for the software also the testing what will be done by the testing the testing checks the quality of the systems and delivers a bug free product to the customer right that is the part of or that is the goal of manual testing now what is the type of manual testing there are a few types of there right so one is the unit testing system testing integration testing acceptance testing black box testing white box testing unit testing system testing integration testing acceptance testing black box testing white box testing these are the all types of manual testing so there will be my separate separate video all of these manual testing types so no problem at all now in this manual testing video i'm just gonna tell you the types of manual testing what are the types there are six types are there okay now the next point is that very important point how to perform manual testing there are six points are there that we have to remember the first point read and understand the software project documentation means what are the client requirement what are the functional requirement we have to read read very carefully then we have to understand that software requirement very carefully that is the first point read and understand the software project documentation the second point document test cases that cover all the requirement mentioned in the documentation right so the the document which client provided us so based upon that document we have to write the test cases right so that's why i'm telling you that that we have to document the test cases that cover all the requirement mentioned in the documentation the third point is that review the test cases with team lead client as applicable means as a tester we have to write the test cases and for the review purpose whenever we are done with the test cases when we, when we are completed to write the test cases then obviously for the review purpose we have to send that send our test cases to the team lead or sometime uh, client also okay for review the test case that we have we have we don't we, we don't miss anything okay so that is the thing the fourth whenever the team lead has approved that yes our test case is perfectly fine then obviously we have to execute the test cases execute that execute the test cases means we have to test our application by using the same test cases means we have to execute the test cases now fifth point whenever we are executing the test cases means whenever whenever we are testing the applications if we get any issue or if we found any issue obviously we have to report report that issue means whom the developer or team lead we have to report that issue and the six once the bug or once the issues are fixed then again execute the failing test cases to verify the pass or not right so that is the six major point that how to perform manual testing so now guys we are very much clear that what is manual testing what is done in the manual testing what is the purpose of manual testing what is the goal of manual testing types of manual testing and what is the and how to perform the manual testing manual testing is very much important because any software before go for the automation first thing that we have to go for the manual testing take 100% possibility so 
manual testing give us 100%, uh, 100%, I can tell you that 100% uh, um, uh, possibility to check anything in the manual testing that sometime automation will not give the 100% possibility. So, that's why manual testing is very imperative. Manual testing is a very much important to all of us. All of the testers, manual testing is very much important. So guys, make sure you are very clear about what is manual testing. So if you guys have any doubt, then please comment me. And if you guys like my video, one thumbs up and subscribe my channel EduPet and click on the bell icon so that you guys can get the notifications first. See you in the next video. Thank you.